Squalene monoxygenase, abbreviated SQMO, is an enzyme from the oxidoreductase family. It catalyzes the formation of an epoxide across the double bond of a squalene molecule, a precursor of lanisterol, the molecule from which all sterols are derived. Currently, we use SQMO as an antifungal agent to prevent the formation of lanosterol, and by consequence, other sterols, such as ergosterol, which is a key component in fungal cell membranes. If you've ever used tough actin to actin to treat your athlete's foot, then you've benefited from inhibitors of SQMO. So why do we choose to study SQMO? Well, inhibitors of SQMO are currently valued for their therapeutic properties, and current research indicates that inhibitors of SQMO could one day be used to complement or to replace statins in the reduction of cholesterol levels. How does this relate to class? Both the inhibition of SQMO and the subsequent domino reaction resulting in lanosterol relates to our class in each of the following ways. Asymmetric induction, conformational changes during inhibition in the secondary and tertiary structures, general acid-based chemistry, and rational drug design. Squalene monoxygenase is bound to the endoplasmic reticulum of the cell in association with flavin adenine dinucleotide. FAD, a redox cofactor bound to the enzyme. NADPH is a coenzyme that acts as a reducing agent and transfers electrons to the FAD, giving it a negative charge. The reduced FAD is now ready to accept molecular oxygen, which is then protonated to form a flavin hydroperoxide. During this time, the squalene molecule also moves into the active site of the enzyme. The flavin hydroperoxide functions like a peroxy acid to epoxidize the nearby double bond culminating in the formation of 2,3-oxidosqualene. You should note that the mechanism of epoxidation is a little bit different than the one we learned in organic chemistry, but this is because of the enzyme activity. Furthermore, also take note of the general acid-base activity facilitated by the protein. The second part of the mechanism is catalyzed by only one enzyme, oxidosqualene lanosterol cyclase, which opens the epoxide via protonation and helps situate the molecule in a conformation conducive to a series of intramolecular additions and transfers. Incredibly, this enzyme is responsible for the formation of four rings, six carbon-carbon bonds, and seven chirality centers, a great display of biological specificity. Thus, inhibition of SQMO prompts a deficit of lanosterol, meaning that its derivatives, such as ergosterol, the yellow membrane lipids on the screen in front of you, are no longer available, resulting in the death of fungal cells via lysis. No more athlete's foot. Terbinafine, a synthetic allylamine inhibitor, is the active ingredient in such antifungal drugs as tough actin and actin. It is a non-competitive inhibitor with two mechanisms of inhibition. One is a terp butyl group that projects out of the enzyme and prevents the binding of squalene with the FAD domain of SQMO. Additionally, terbinafine is a lipophilic molecule and so contains a naphthalene ring hinged so as to position itself in the small, very hydrophobic interior of the upper binding area. This causes a conformational change in the structure of the enzyme and also prevents binding. Thus, we can see generally how the terbinafine acts to inhibit SQMO. But we talked earlier about using inhibitors of SQMO to replace statins one day. How might this happen? Another example of a compound that inhibits SQMO activity are tellurium containing compounds. They work very similarly to terbinafine in the sense that they non competitively inhibit SQMO, SQMO activity, as indicated by the Lynn Weaver burn plot. Now, the way they actually target the enzyme is that they target the histidine and arginine residues on the, on the enzyme and the general acid base chemistry associated with them. They also target the cysteine residues and attack the disulfide bridges that are associated with the enzyme. This is a generalized pathway for the synthesis of cholesterol. We've highlighted two important enzymes. We currently use inhibitors of HMGR, called statins, for the reduction of cholesterol levels. We propose that we use inhibitors of SQMO to realize the same goal. This is in accordance with the principles of rational drug design, because inhibiting later in the pathway preserves important products especially those from the activity of HMGR, such as coenzyme Q, vital to the process of cellular respiration. Despite the potency of tellurium and terbinafine as inhibitors of SQMO, they are not practical in an internal physiological setting because they are toxic. That being said, the research that has been done on them provides valuable insight into the, into the crucial domains of SQMO that could be targeted in the future. At this point, we've come full circle, demonstrating concepts from class, including asymmetric induction, conformational changes, 
and general acid-base chemistry. More importantly, we've used the principles of rational drug design to show that inhibitors of SQMO might be a bit better than statins in reducing cholesterol levels. Squalene monooxygenase is certainly an enzyme worth keeping your eye on.